So I want to start with a little story and lead into something that maybe is controversial, maybe not, we'll find out. Anyway, so the other day I was in my garage going, sorting through some boxes that I had just gotten from my mom of my childhood. She was moving into a retirement home and I needed to put them in the basement. And my uh, oldest son was out there with me rummaging through the boxes looking for the inevitable vintage toys, if you will, my Legos, my old Star Wars toys. And rummaging through it, I hear a, <gasps> a gasp from him and he reaches in the box, pulls out this device and shows it to me and goes, what is this? And I immediately recognize it and I'm like, oh, that was my favorite toy when I was your age. It's a, it was called the Mattel Electronics Football. I don't know if any of you guys remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, you know, like the stadium built in it if you're playing baseball or football and they had a field printed on it. And I explained to them how you played the game where it's like, there's these little red lines that were light and they represented the players. And the darker red line was the guy with the ball. And you wanted to avoid the other line to score a touchdown or if you're on defense to keep that guy from scoring. And he's just staring at me blankly like, and it's dead silence as I explain the game. And he blinks like in a cartoon, I could hear it. And he goes, is that it? <laughs> Dad, that is super lame. And while he was right, and my feelings were hurt and I felt very old, what that presented to me was something that we've observed in the company that I work for. I work for a company called Chore Monster, and we make an app for parents and kids to make chores fun. And in this divide of my son and I between my reality of childhood and his reality of childhood, we are observing in our parents this great divide. It's almost like if my son could represent excitement about technology, and I represent reluctance about technology. He's excited about the tools, the, the new devices that are out there, and how it can empower him and engage him and get him excited about being a part of a family. Where you have parents who, though they're excited because they think it can work, they're reluctant about very adult things like putting in information and how that information is used and security and privacy. And between those two dichotomies, there's this battle being waged in the middle, not by the kids, but by, by parents. And what it really should be called is the battle of that wasn't how I grew up. It's called screen time. Now, what is screen time? Screen time is very easy to explain. It literally means the amount of time you spend in front of a screen, whether that's a computer or a device or a television. And if you do a quick Google search on screen time, you'll find a vast array of articles that talk about the dangers and perils of kids spending an excessive amount of time in front of the screen. Some of those dangers include things like anxiety and depression, lack of physical activity, which can lead to overeating and obesity. Now, while these are all very, very real effects that we see in kids, and while it's easy to coincide these effects with our devices, we can't blame our screens. If iPhone is no more responsible for obesity than, let's say, a deck of playing cards is responsible for gambling. These are concerns that we're seeing all the time. Now, as I'm in that garage with my son and he's excitement and I'm reluctance, I'm realizing that the bridge between us is almost impossible to pass. And it's not my job to make him come to my side to understand my childhood, because he can't. There's no way he can understand what it was like for me to grow up. He can't understand that there was no computer in the house, not because we didn't own one, but because there was no reason to have one. And that we had a television that had three, maybe four channels if we were lucky. And if you wanted to change that channel, you had to actually physically walk up to the TV and turn the channel. Or if I had friends over to play games, we had to go to our giant game closet and search for the stacks of board games and hope that when we were pulling out Parcheesi that the rest of the games didn't fall on top of us. Or let's say like if I took a picture, I had to wait a couple days to even see if it turned out, which usually it didn't because it's film and it was terrible. So to my son, all of these things that were my normal, my childhood, to him, are things that fit in this small device that goes right into his pocket. Now, this, this divide um, we can call a bad, um, sorry, I just lost my place. Uh, and it's easy for us to blame it because as adults, we're very guilty of spending a lot of time in front of the screen. In fact, on average, we spend about seven hours a day in front of the screen. And our kids, well, these tools are, are native to them. 75% of kids have access to some smart device uh, on a daily basis. Wow, it is not a trend that is going away. Screens are actually becoming a more ubiquitous part of our lives and our daily activities. The thing is, is that technology is only limited 
by how effectively we use it. And it's up to us to find the constructive and educational means to use the technology to become our ally, not our enemy. And if we can do that, we can become better parents and caregivers. As a parent, I don't want to limit the future of my kids because I'm unwilling or unable to find the tools that are readily available at my disposal to become a better parent. And when we view a screen and our devices as merely just a tool that offers us meaningless distractions or endless entertainment, and that's literally all that it will ever be. And it's up to us to build and utilize those tools on our screens to be our effective in building that bridge between our kids' reality and where they are right now and our past so that we can help shape and guide the technology to become a much more effective ally in our daily lives right now. Thank you.